Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm going to share a haul video with you guys. Did a little shopping in Ulta and a little bit in TJ Maxx. So if you guys would like to see what I picked up, keep on watching. So we went out shopping, hmm, I think it was like, it wasn't quite the day after Christmas, it was like a few days after Christmas, so I don't really feel like I got any sales or anything, but there was products that I did want to try, and I did have some money to use to go ahead and purchase some products, and I knew I wanted to go to Ulta, of course. and we don't, because like my Sephora is a little bit further than my Ulta. And my Sephora is actually in JCPenney. So it's a hit and miss in there sometimes. You can find some good things in there. And sometimes they don't have all the brands in, in there. So, um, you know, like one day I would love to go into a full-on uh, or Sephora store, I mean. So I'll, I'll show you the products I got TJ Maxx first. Okay, so when I'm in TJ Maxx, I love to look a lot of times at the skincare there because they do have... Skincare, I, I can find things all the time in there, like brand names, maybe non-brand names, brand na names, brand names that I'm getting used to and kind of liking some of their products. So one of the brands I got from, but there's a disappointment in it. It is from the company Lanolin. I have been getting different things from the company called Lanolin for a while now. This is the Rose Hip Oil Skin Renew Furring Fur Furry. It's it's furring. There's there's fur. It will it will put fur on your face. Yeah. No. <laughs> I would definitely be stopping myself if I seen that. I'd be like, new <laughs> firming serum uh, with collagen and vitamin C and E, and it restores and rejuvenates. The only problem, if you can see, like where let's t turn it here. I'm not sure if you can see. But there's where it ends, or it's, you know, it, there was some missing from it. So I don't usually look in the boxes or anything, you know, but I think this taught me maybe I better, especially in a place like that, because whether it came like that, some spilled out, so I use some, I don't know. But anyway, I'm really liking this product. I actually rotate it around. Sometimes I'll use it because I have several other skincare products I'm using. So sometimes I'll use it in the morning, sometimes at night, but I do like it. I do feel it's, it's tacky when you first put it on. It's, it's pretty tacky. So I have to let it dry, but once it dries, it softens up and everything. So yeah, not too bad of a product. And I believe I got it for like $7 and some. So the next thing I got was, and this might glare somewhat, so I'm sorry guys, but Wrinkle Care Snail snail eight mask which you know the whole thing about the okay maybe the, you can see some of my stuff back there hello camera um but the snail mask you, you know we've been learning a lot about the uh, snail what is it called and because it used to kind of mm, i'll admit it kind of freaked me out a little bit but i figured i'm going to give it a try everybody else has been using it and interesting enough i did see there's red ginseng extract in here which love anything with ginseng in it so i got i think five is there five in here yeah there's like five masks and i got it for 5.99 so i always look in there because you can find really great sheet masks and i love sheet masks to use you know just to kick back relax and they all have that serum stuff on it uh, I, I'm like a lot of other people where I, I use the leftover of that stuff and put it on my hands, on my chest and everywhere. So love getting those. And then this, I was so super, super excited about. Have not tried one yet. Have seen everybody talk about one of these kind of brushes like this, you know, sort of like the, um, the artist brushes. Is that what they're called? This one's Eye on Beauty, and it says it's a limited edition. I think it's because it has like a rose gold, um, you know, handle here. And 
I'm not sure what size this is, but this looks like the size that a lot of people are using for when they're applying their foundation. And I don't really want to spend the money on an artist brush, artiste. I think that's how you say it, artiste brush. Um, to me, that's, I, I can't always justify. I just can't. There is some makeup brushes I do want to try, like the Chicago brushes. I wouldn't mind trying some of those. But I do have a hard time biting the bullet and justifying buying the brush. Maybe if I did see the difference, like a lot of people see, that might change my mind, I'm sure. But if it does the job for me, I'm fine. So this brush here, I got, I think for $12.99. Yeah, $12.99. Not sure if you guys can see that or not, but yeah, I got for $12.99. So yeah, I can't wait to try that out. I'll probably do a video where I'm like trying a lot of my new products out because I got stuff for Christmas and then this purchase here. So, okay, so that's what all I got in um, TJ Maxx. I did get a couple tops, which I'm wearing one of my uh, tops right now. It's a nice uh, black top. It has like a V-neck and everything. Just a basic black top, but it's it's really nice. And then I got um, another one that's a little bit different. It has the cutout right here. And I think it's... Um, sort of an eggplant color. So I, I kind of got a couple tops in there too. So Ulta. I was in Ulta for a while and I kind of knew what I wanted, but a lot of the stuff that I wanted wasn't there. I kind of figured that because I wasn't expecting to get the products that I was actually really looking for. Um, a couple of them I knew I would, you know, I figured I would anyway. So one of the items I got and finally got was the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC. I got the Illumination one though, the Illumination CC cream. And I know Mary Allen loves her CC cream from It Cosmetics. I hear her talk about it all the time. And I've seen, of course, a lot of other people share it. So I finally bit the bullet and finally got this product. Well, yeah, I can't wait to try this product, so. Yeah, the next item I got, and I debated on getting it, and should I get it, but um, was the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I, I really like this primer, and I still have my little sample that I'm using right now. I'm still using that up, but I really love this eye primer. It is comparable, like I said before, to the Wet n Wild one, the photo one that they have out. The only difference is you have a little more play time with this. You move it around and get it on your eyes. It doesn't dry as fast as the Wet n Wild one does. That one dries pretty fast. They both do pretty, you know, do really good with um, holding up your eyeshadows and everything. But if I, I honestly feel like I like this one a little bit better, you know, uh, than the Wet n Wild. But if you were on a budget and saving money, and you wanted a good eye primer, I would definitely say get the wet wild one. But I, I've been loving this and I thought I'm going to bite the bullet and get it because I do want the full size. I do like this eye primer. So then with the whole uh, mascara, I was going to get Mally's Volumizing Mascara, but then it's crazy because this is my other favorite, favorite mascara is the Fully Charged from Pure Cosmetics Mascara. I love this mascara. This mascara has really given me the voluminous, voluptuous uh, eyelashes that I always like and look for. And I honestly have to say, between this one and Mally's Volumized Mascara, it's such a close call for me. It's so hard for me to even say which one is my exact favorite. But they're so close. And I thought, you know what? There was only one of these left, and I grabbed it because I'm like, I, I do love this one. So grabbed that. The next item I grabbed, I'm going to set my bag down a little bit. I don't want to make too much noise with my bag. The next item I got, I've been wanting. I'd pick it up, um, and it's from, this next item is from Lorac. And it's an item that I, I'll pick it up, I'll look at it, put it back down. I'll be like, I'll get it next time, get it next time, get it next time. You know how you do that sometimes in a store. So, finally bought it, and I've been wanting one of their highlighters. And this is the one I've wanted. It's the Light Source illuminating highlighter. This one is in Moonlight. Oh my goodness. This has more of the tones that would be perfect for me. I love the packaging they have. They have 
for their lipsticks and their lip glosses and all that kind of stuff. They have that gunmetal looking packaging. Yeah, and this is Moonlight. I love this shade. This shade is perfect for somebody with fair complexion. And, oh, it feels so buttery, soft, and smooth. There that is. Wait till you guys see it. Oh, my goodness. I remember when I was in the store, and after I swatched it, I kept looking and looking. And I was like, oh, my God, that is so pretty. And I wanted to get it. So, finally picked it up. Oh, okay, cool. It has a magnetic magnetic uh, closure. Cool. Oh, so I finally picked up Batiste. I was going to say Batista. That's a wrestler. That's a wrestler, Lori. Batista is a wrestler. Batista, whatever. Batista. Batista. What was his name? Batista. I don't know. I used to watch wrestling with my kids a lot. And then even after my kids left, I still watched wrestling. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway, Batiste. This dry shampoo. This one's in floral, floral and flirty blush. Everybody talks about this. I haven't found a dry shampoo that I like. Mostly every dry shampoo I have gives me a white cast in my hair and I never like it. It, for me, it leaves a white cast. And then I also feel like it's almost like hairspray. Like it leaves me uh, a sticky, icky feeling. I, I have not found a drowning shampoo that I really like. So they had those where you bought one and got the other one for 50% off. So I did get two. I figured if I don't like them, I'll just give them to my daughter or somebody, you know, or something like that because I do want to give them a try. And I did grab the deal because I figured if I'm buying one, I might as well get the other one for the 50% off. So this is Fruity and Cheeky Cherry. I figured give those a go. And then lastly, I was still looking for some of the sweet peach items, which I figured wouldn't be there because I want to get the Papa Dome Peach. I do have Papa Dome Peach in one of my sets that I got for Christmas the one year. I would love to get that blush. I'm not sure about the highlighter bronzing blush whole set. I'm not really sure. I mean, the, the highlighter looks really nice, but I think I like the Papa Dome Peach blush a little bit more from what I'm seeing from people's swatches. Anyway, I did get a couple of the uh, lip products that they have, these lip, what are they calling these? Creamy peach, creamy peach oil lip gloss, which you can smell the peach. The peach does smell a little bit different in these. I have this one right now on, this is called Peach Teas. Not sure if you're gonna see that though, but it has peach teas on there. And that is what I have. It does give some color to your lips a little bit, like a little hint of color. Packaging is so super cute. Now, I mean, obviously, if you don't like lip gloss and things like that, you probably won't like these. But um, And then it has the cute little peach on the top there. But yeah, this is called Peach Teas. You can see that there. And that's the color I have on actually right now. And it does. It smells like... It smells nice. Sweet, candy, peachy something. I don't know. Right there. See, it, it gives off pigmentation. It doesn't feel... Uh, I'm trying to think. It doesn't feel sticky. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel sticky. I don't know. It's kind of like the... Lorac uh, lip glosses, if you ever try those. It's kind of like those, maybe. Uh, they're newer kind, the Ultra Ego ones, not the other ones that they used to have. But it's not sticky at all. The other one I got, which seemed to have been going pretty quickly, was the uh, Papa Don't Peach one. I got the Papa Don't Peach one. This one's more of a neutral shade uh, that, you know, but it seemed like it was going fast, but it's like this neutrally shade. Um, so let me see. I haven't really... Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Here it is there. I can see why people are grabbing that. That's pretty. And so, like you can see, it does show some pigment. And it does give some color to the lips. So I, I do really like them. And they're comfortable, too. So, yep, that's my damage. That is my haul. I did go a little more uh, higher end than drugstore. I always get drugstore makeup. 
And this time I got to pick up a few things that are a little more uh, high end, which I was kind of glad to do, you know, especially with the It Cosmetics um, CC cream. I cannot wait. So you will be seeing me doing a video, upcoming video, because I want to try that makeup brush out myself because I would say go to your TJ Maxx. They had a boatload of those brushes. Um, they had like sets of them, like a whole set. They had just single ones like that or a trio. Um, they did have the one that some people were talking about. Was it Wow? I think that was the company Wow or something um, that they had those makeup brushes like that. So yeah, I would say check out your TJ Maxx. Uh, they did have makeup there, but none of it was really popping out at me. And I know sometimes they say like, you know, you could find like Kat Von D or something like that there. I didn't see anything like that, but I'm sure by the time I got there, again, it was probably too late, but that's okay. You know, I went when I could go and I'm happy with the products I got too. So yeah. So, all right guys, thanks so much for watching. So if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and I really appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel and this is your first time watching me, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. I'd love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.